Hello, my awesome Pisces, my Pisces brothers and sisters. I missed you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for your beautiful letters. I appreciate you so much. Sending lots of love to you in return. I think I get the most letters from Pisces and Virgos. Other signs as well, but I think the most Pisces, Virgos. Love you guys. Thank you for your beautiful energy. I really appreciate you so much. So Pisces, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do, Pisces. Ooh, I just looked on the bottom of the deck. They're showing up as Knight of Pentacles. So um, they are slow to action. But honestly, this is the only night that I truly trust in the love reading. Even though they slow, they're showing up as uh, showing up with solid offer and unexpected messages showing up here. All pages are messengers, but page of wands represents messages that are unexpected, quick, out of nowhere. So Pisces, first we're going to ask what's coming towards you, what you'll be dealing with, facing, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. We are on soulmate journeys. Second part of the video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate at this time. How are they doing? And how they are currently relating to you emotionally. And what's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Especially in relation to you, Pisces. Oh, beautiful. The sun card representing Leo. Wow, beautiful. The best card in the whole deck. But no matter what sign they are, it shows that there is a soul connection from past lifetimes between you two. This person is reminiscing of you, thinking of you. Yeah, but hard time expressing emotions. Yeah, they don't communicate uh, too openly because they're showing up as emperor made out of stone from the neck down. So they have hard time expressing emotions at this time for whatever reason. Um, hmm, hmm, look at this, so much love, so much love, I'm loving this, this is beautiful, Ten of Cups, ooh, yeah, this person has been through a lot of heartbreak in previous relationships, yeah, they very, that's why they're so guarded with their heart, that's why they're so careful, they've been through a lot of heartbreak, yeah, let's do this, Pisces, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Pisces? What will Pisces be dealing with, facing? And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Pisces? extra card let's do this let's do this pisces you see this is you not taking action right now this is you waiting patiently yeah this is you being patient with this whole process with this whole situation you showing up as king of wands reversed it means you're not taking action right now this is you not doing anything right now even though you feel a lot of passion uh, deep connection with this person. This is you not taking action right now. What, waiting to see for either for the right time to take action or for them to take action. But you view this person as somebody you would like to be with in long-term relationship. This is monogamous long-term relationship. I love this card. Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Tower. Wow. So you guys are not together right now. This is you, um, yes, you are patient, but you also feel uh, a little annoyed, or maybe I shouldn't say annoyed, you're feeling uh, a little agitated. Yeah, this is like you trying to be patient, but at the same time, uh, you feel like you shouldn't be putting yourself on hold, which I agree, you should never put your life on hold for anyone. You need to live your life, absolutely. Um, you guys are not together right now. You love this person a lot, and it looks like the person loves you. This is past life connection between you two, you see? Very strong spiritual and emotional bonds between you two. 
Let's see, they could be any sign whatsoever, but a lot of you are dealing with the Leo. You see lion's face, also Virgo. Also Aries, very strongly. Universe, please show us how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey and what is coming towards Pisces? What will Pisces be dealing with facing and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, this is your withdrawing, taking a step back, using your wisdom, trying to figure out how to proceed correctly, what to do, when to do it. This is you going within, yeah, retreating in solitude, using your wisdom, beautiful energy to describe you. Yeah, beautiful. This is you not rushing in foolishly. This is you being patient with the whole process. Uh, a lot of you are dealing with the Virgo soulmate. Wow, you are disappointed though. Yeah, this is you disappointed. You also have been through a lot of heartbreak, Pisces, yourself. You're also very careful, very guarded with your heart. You've been through a lot of pain yourself as well. Yeah, in even in family relationships, because this is on top of family energy as well. So you've been through a lot of disappointments also with certain family members. Yeah, a lot of heartbreak. Yeah, this is you uh, feeling kind of agitated that this person is silent, not communicating at all or not communicating enough. Yeah, this is no communication right now. Yeah, you are very determined to be strong, even though you feel like sometimes you just want to give up. Sometimes you really want to just give up and, and just say, that's it. Uh, but you don't. You see, you feel such enormous connection with this individual. Past life connections here. This is even going back to ancient lifetimes, like ancient Egyptian lifetimes. This is beautiful connection you have together. Yeah, you feel enormous amount of passion for this person also. Passion, love. Yeah, you see, this is you trying to figure out what to do. You have a lot of options out there, Pisces. Did you know you have a lot of people interested in you? People viewing you as very attractive, available, people interested in you. Yeah, you see, this is you single. This is you not in a relationship right now. This is like the minor arcana of the Empress energy. People view as very attractive, independent, strong-willed, resilient. But yeah, you see, you don't want to be single. You want to be in a solid, long-term monogamous relationship. That's what you're yearning for. Yeah, and if you sometimes you feel so frustrated because you feel your person is too slow or not communicating effectively. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with this person. Let, well, before we do that, let's clarify this extra energy. This is in your subconscious position. So you're hoping that this will end up being a long-term commitment based on love, feelings. Yeah, you do love this person. Major connection from past lives. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey. Yeah, you see, you want to put work into this. This is you wanting to work with them on this yeah this is you reminiscing of them often i would say daily thinking of them missing them wanting to have a better connection this is past life connection six of cups yeah you see this is you retreating in solitude being patient quiet yeah you see you have a soul contract with this person yeah so you met them for a reason for sure see yeah, you met them for a reason. Justice card. A lot of you are also dealing with a Libra. Mm, and also very strong Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with this person of yours. Let's see what the universe needs you to know for your highest good. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces. For Pisces, highest good, please. Universe... The soulmate of Pisces, the soulmate of Pisces. What's going on with the soulmate of Pisces at this time? And how is the soulmate of Pisces currently relating to Pisces, especially emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind at this time? 
this one right here extra message let's see pisces oh this person is in love <laughs> especially since this showed up in position one so this person is totally in love with you but king of cups means unexpressed love and for this to show up in position one it shows that they are very much aware of the depth of their feelings for you but they're not revealing those feelings to you at this time for whatever reason or reasons um this person is however very much aware of their feelings for you and how deep they go this means unexpressed love secret love hidden love but because this particular king of cups in this particular tarot deck is showing up with two cups not one cup like other tarot decks have it shows to me greatly uh that this person is trying to figure out how much you care for them how much you love them if you love them and if you do love them how much do you love them they're not going to ask you that, although they would love to. They're not going to ask you that, but they're trying to figure out. You see, this person is in love with you deeply, but they're hiding it. You see, this is them hiding it, scared of revealing it to you at this time for whatever reasons. Yeah, this is them hiding it from you, not telling you. You see, here they're holding two of swords pointing down, restricting communication. Hmm yeah what's going on they love you a lot and they're happy to have met you so this person before they even met you or before they were interested in you they asked for somebody like you so this person has awareness some kind of spiritual awareness and uh at some point uh, they asked for somebody like you to enter their life and it looks like they got their wish now that they got it they don't know what to do with it they kind of panicky uh, they didn't think this wish was going to come true. So you are their soulmate from many lifetimes. Yeah. Oh, they're not confused because the moon card is reversed. That's good. I don't like the moon card, but it's reversed, which is very good. They see very clearly. This person sees very clearly. They, they're not trying to run away from their feelings. They're just hiding them from you at this time. This person is very much aware of what they're feeling and how they feeling they're not confused about the situation mm -mm. yeah this person is checking up on you they're, they're keeping tabs on you checking up on you they view you as somebody that they want to uh, build something solid with yeah they don't know how to get to it yet uh this is them over analyzing excessively they thinking too much they they over analyze too much um this is them checking up on you though you see the fox over here um this person also views you as very wise perceptive analytical they're checking up on you any way they can whether it's through social media mutual acquaintances or through your job or business this person is able to check up on you to see what you're up to what you're doing what's going on with you you know please show us what's going on with the soulmate of pisces yeah, you see, look how guarded they are. My goodness, they are guarded to the neck, not expressing emotions, not showing emotions. Uh, this person has been through a lot of heartbreak in their life, and they're very cautious. Yeah, they are very cautious. Hmm. Yeah, you see, look at this. Nine of Cups twice from two different uh, tarot decks, wish fulfillment. So this person uh, wished for somebody like you, and there you go they met you so this person is aware that they manifested you in their life they asked for you yeah this is them waiting to see what's going to happen not really taking action right now not communicating waiting to see if you're going to do anything yeah this is them not confused having a lot of options on how to handle this situation but not sure yet which option to go with whether to wait for you or reach out to you, they know they're going to have to do something. They can't just sit there doing nothing. This person is trying to figure out which way to proceed. Yeah, this person is realizing that the love they feel for you is real, genuine, deep. you bringing major changes to their life. Uh, you are the catalyst in their life, necessary catalyst to open up 
that heart chakra of theirs. Wow, amazing. This person was so closed off for so long emotionally, and now their heart chakra is opening up thanks to you, Pisces. This person is uh, loving this and scared at the same time. Look, communication is showing up here. Back and forth communication. Back and forth communication. That's good. Yeah, you see, this person is also reminiscing of you like you're reminiscing of them. Six of Cups. Beautiful. Wow. This person is having fears um, because they're dwelling on the past too much. This is them dwelling on the past too much, thinking too much about the past, past heartbreaks. This person apparently still needs to release and heal from past emotional wounds, heartbreak from the past. They need to forgive and let go. Yeah, this is them having deep regret about some things from their past. This is them having uh, feeling heartbroken, regretful, sad, feeling down. This person is very sensitive emotionally, you see. The moon with seven of cups and five of cups. Uh, they may have a moon sign in a water sign. They can be uh, very much an empath, feeling other people's emotions. Um, yeah, this person is very emotional, although they don't show it that easily. Let me see what's going on here. Universe, what's going on with the soulmate of Pisces at this time? This person wants to see you. You see, they want to see you. I love Page of Pentacles. It means face-to-face uh, -face communication, gifts, uh, sometimes explanations, apologies, important telephone conversations. Beautiful. Beautiful. This person views you as marriage material, that you are stable, grounded, solid, important. Yeah, I see. They feel... You are very important to them. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, also Leo, Taurus again, and Cancerian. You see, this person is determined to be successful at this. Yeah. Ooh, this is beautiful energies. All five cards, beautiful energies. Two of them major arcanas. So, Hmm, if they've been silent, don't think that it's over. Yeah, and I'm looking on the bottom of the deck, the sun again. So this person feels that you are their soulmate. They feel it, even if they don't understand it uh, completely what soulmate means. This person feels enormous bonds with you emotionally and spiritually. Yeah, thinking of you constantly with the six of cups. Wow. My sweet Pisces, I love this reading. We're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true long-term intentions and plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.